We got the new Battle Royale program yesterday, so I want to try some of the new program cards, hopefully see one of the flawless cards in this first round, and then try to start off undefeated with the team, start earning some progress, and let's see, yeah, so j Rod going for a million stubs right now, we get to use a one million stub card here in today's video, that's huge, now I think this is one of the program rounds, right, yeah, this is one of the program rounds, and let me see i think i i love i love riley green's swing i'm just a little bit scared versus lefties only 63 power but then cabrian hayes 81 power versus righties uh who would y'all choose in this round i know clay holmes could be a good reliever but i'm going to position player i'm gonna choose cabrian hayes here just because he's got overall a little bit better power i love mickey mantle swing i love jonathan vr swing Ooh. Let's try Mickey Mansell. Let's have him as my left fielder. Trey Turner or Devers, dude. I need a lefty. I don't have a lefty yet. Zach Britton could be good, though, because it would be nice to get some parallel XP for the pitching. Yeah, I'm going to go Zach Britton. And hopefully we see Rafael Devers maybe popping up at some point in the, uh, in the draft. Maybe a bench round or something. Matt Brash, I can grab a reliever there. John Birdie. I've used this card a little bit. He did okay for me. Aaron Judge, I think, would be the move, though. And Battle Royale, especially, like, he's got good fielding on this card. I'm kind of surprised that his Rookie of the Year card is only a 97. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I could have sworn that his rookie season was good enough, like, where he could easily get a 99. But I might be tripping a little bit. Jason Adam, 96 hits per nine on a silver reliever. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to just grab Matt Bush here. Wait. No, that's from an old BR program, I think maybe anthony rizzo wait carlos carrasco see i don't even i don't even know the cards off the top of my head i'll grab anthony rizzo right now as my first baseman i don't remember exactly who all the program cards are i don't really want either of these position players Contreras could be real nice against lefties really good versus lefties just not quite as good versus righties matt strom could be a bullpen guy i think i might just go Contreras though get that bat in here Jake Diekman, definitely get him going in the bullpen. Nasty lefty reliever. Colby Allard right there. Just keep buffing up that rotation some gold round. Cattel Marte, right? I think this round is obviously Cattel Marte here. Yeah, I don't see why I would choose anyone else right there. Lindor, I could love another switch hitter. I don't think Cattel yeah, he's not one of the program cards. Lindor, get a switch hitter at shortstop. There we go. That's all the gold rounds. Nelson Cruz, I like his swing, but I'm going to save my DH for a different round. I only have three righties right now in the bullpen, so I could always get another righty if I wanted to. I could get 97 speed just to have as a pinch runner, and I think I might do that. So now we're choosing our bench players a little bit. Tim Raines, Joey Votto, Salvador Perez, Dylan Tate, last righty for me in the pen. There we go. Oh. I guess I can grab the lefty here. 99 Velo, sinker, I like that. Yeah, we have one silver round left. I was going to say, I hope we could see the Rafael Devers card here. Tyler O'Neal, let's see. Any positions that I want to replace, I'm going to turn the cam off so y'all can see the lineup that I'm looking at. Obviously, I could use a different DH. Everybody else in there, though, man, I'm kind of chilling with where the lineup's at. I wouldn't mind using Matt Carpenter as a DH. I could always get Hector Neris in the pen since we do have three lefties. And he's a really solid looking righty reliever. Control's not the best. I'm going to grab Hector Neris for the pen right there. I hope that's not a bad move. Utility guy on the bench in case we decide to ever pinch hit for somebody. Some good fielding, I guess. I'm probably not going to be using these bench players anyways. Josh Harrison, another utility guy. Maybe somebody that hits for a lot of power. Roberto Perez, 76 power versus lefties. We could grab him right there. I want to use... Oh, wait. I don't really have a DH, though. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to just leave the DH at the bottom of my lineup at this point. What position? Center field primary. Julio's good in center. I could always put him in left instead of Mickey Mansell. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Mickey Mantle will be my DH. And I need to remember which cards are the program cards. So it's Cabrian Hayes and it is this Mickey Mantle. Those are the two program cards in my lineup. 
And then we also have Zach Britton. Maybe I'll even use him as an opener. Just see how the first game goes. Probably want Julio batting third. And then... Get Aaron Judge after that. Cattell Marte, Lindor, Rizzo, and then Contreras behind Rizzo. Because he's way better versus lefties. My opponent might see some switch hitters here and then the lefty and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to bring in the lefty. Nah, because then you're going to have to face William Contreras. 92 power versus lefties. And then Brenton Doyle will be in the outfield. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best move here. I like this lineup. I like that. We got Brenton in the bullpen. Let's go ahead and try to start 1-0 with this team. So we do have Britain on the mound. We're trying to start off 1-0. I'm facing the Clay Holmes, another program card. So I have program cards at the top of my lineup. We get a hit first, but I also have to face a 97 overall pitcher. So the first two guys in my lineup, I really want to hit homers with them, including this Cabrian Hayes here. 1-1 one one the count facing the righty Clay Holmes. And that is a perfect start to this game. I said I want home runs with these cards. Boom, he gets a home run there. I want to say that's 60 out of the 350. Wait, or is it 500? I think it might be 500. Either way, I think that might be 60 of the parallel XP that I need. And if it's 500, even if it's 350. Oh, Mickey, please, yes. Back to back. Perfect perfects from the two program cards for home runs. That's literally the best possible start I could have asked for. 444 feet. And now it's time for Julio Rodriguez. Brand new flawless reward. Oh, I'm glad the first baseman didn't go after that. I think he had a better chance than the right fielder. But this is currently a 1 million stub card. And that is a dotted up pitch. I got to protect on 0-2. And now it's 3-2 from 0-2 to 3-2, Judge on deck. And I missed him, man. I just wasn't ready for low and inside. I think I was kind of ready for inside, but being low like that threw me off. Reacted way too late. That's out number one. Maybe I'm not ready for the high sinker either. Okay, so I think I need to start looking for that sinker from Clay Holmes. Judge makes out number two. I'm just happy I got homers with those program cards. That's huge for me because that's really like, I would love to somehow go 12-0 with this team, but if I get one of the program, the parallel XP missions done, when I'm grinding out these BR programs, a lot of times I will end up just forfeiting the run and quitting out of the draft. So I'm glad I got some parallel XP, if not anything else. And Zach Britton on the mound for us. One pitch, one out. He's also a program card, so I'm looking for him to just get as many innings as possible this game. And if he can, some bonus PXP would be coming from strikeouts. If Mickey Mantle keeps going around at these sliders for strike three, that's huge. That's an extra 15 that we could be getting right here. And there it is. Yeah, he definitely went around. That's strikeout number one, out number two. And there's another one. I think there's also a Battle Royale program mission to get a certain amount of strikeouts. I don't remember how many that is off the top of my head. But we just got two in that inning with Britain. That's a great first start for him. And so far, the best cards for me today are easily all of these new program ones. I'm really hoping I could get Julio Rodriguez back up again. And that's ball four to Lindor. Lead off walk here in the second. I'm not sure if my opponent is just going to leave in Clay Holmes the entire game. But if he does, I'm not going to complain. Because that should be some easy extra parallel XP for us with those cards. You need like 4,000 and a single entry. That's another one of the missions. So I will run up the score as much as I can if he leaves in Clay Holmes, who's already at 22 pitches. I would love it if he just kept him on the mound. As William Contreras... Not as good versus righties. Still gets a base hit. There's still nobody down. My nine hitters coming up. And then we got the program cards right back at the plate. Don't be a double play. Anything but a double play here. 97 speed is going to be safe. I'm happy that's not a double play. Cabrian Hayes, how about your second home run of the game? I don't think it's going to be home run number two. Good timing, but we're not quite on the ball. I'm going to try to get him the RBI with 25 speed. And then Mickey Mansell, if he can get on base, J-Rod gets his second attempt at his first base hit. 
And Mickey Mantle gets a base hit. Okay. So I want Mantle to get some parallel XP maybe for scoring a run. How about a three-run home run right here from J-Rod? And we've got a full count to him. Runners will be going on the pitch. And I really just got on top of that. Oh, man. Whenever there's a card that I really, really want to do good with, you know, he's kind of my main focus potentially of the video, debuts especially. For whatever reason, I just... I think I overthink the at-bats. I maybe try a little bit too hard, if that makes sense. And Zach Britton gets out number one right there. At least I'm still getting this parallel XP. Ooh. I really want Zach Britton to get this inning. To get the parallel XP for the inning pitched. But I also don't really want to leave him in until he's out of energy. We'll have to see what happens. But if my opponent starts getting a lot of base hits, a lot of runs, I might have to end up going to that bullpen. As I think we should get this. That's a big out number two. And Christopher Morrell is going to make it a 4-1 to one game. Aaron Judge has a perfect throw to second. 79 speeds in there easily for a double. And Nick Castellanos is going to drive in another run. I really don't know if I should pitch to Eugenio Suarez here. Because he would be the tying run if he got one over the fence. But if he doesn't, you know, this is still one more chance to get that inning pitched here so i might just i might just test my luck a little bit see if we can maybe get out number three and not hit very well but we're definitely not getting out number three julio no perfect throw home it wouldn't have mattered anyways four to three all of a sudden it's only a one run ball game and trey turner grounds out i left him brits and he got the extra parallel xp for that inning pitched there's no way he's coming out for the third because you do get one point in the program for every win. So I really want to try to win this. Clay Holmes is still on the mound. I hope this is not a line out. I want this to get down. I really want to try to get the top of my lineup back up. We only have two more outs to work with, but if he's leaving Clay Holmes on the mound, wait. Oh, he's taking him out. Okay. Well, I still want to try to get the top of the lineup back up, but I don't think it's going to be as easy now that we're seeing a new pitcher. But that is another perfect perfect. And that's another base hit, back-to-back -back singles. And now Anthony Rizzo hits a home run. Wait, we've had a lot of perfect perfects here in this game. Three-run shot, making it 7-3. to three. Just like that, the lead's back up to four. And we're that much closer to getting the top of the lineup back up as long as one of the next two hitters is able to get on base and now it's literally the worst hitter in my lineup my final chance here in the third brenton doyle please get on base extend the inning up the middle and he gets on base so we get cabrian hayes i'm hoping he gets mickey mantle up and i'm hoping mantle could get j-rod back up i need stolen bases so i decided to steal and we did get one. That's one of the three that I need. I thought I was going to be thrown out for a second. And Cabrian Hayes doesn't get Mantle or J-Rod back up again in this game. Unless my opponent scores four here in the bottom of the third. And you know what? I have a four-run lead. So we might as well leave in Zach Britton. See if he could just get the complete game somehow. Oh, that's going to be out number one. Cattell Marte, what a play. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm glad they've added some new animations since MLB The Show 16. That definitely did not used to be in the game. And Ellie goes yard. One more hit, and he's coming out of this game. I'm going to give Zach one more hit, one more base runner. And then it's time to go to the bullpen. I still want to get this win. And Luisa Rise gets out number two. Okay, maybe we could give him two base runners because it is a three-run lead. And that would just be a huge chunk of parallel XP if he could get this final ounce. And that is a home run. Okay. So, seven to five. We got to be a bit careful here if I want to leave him in for one more batter. Who is it? Will Smith, live series card. And Will Smith grounds out a complete game for Zach Britton. Oh, man, I got to go check where we're at on the PXP. So we're 1-0. We got one just for winning that game. 
and then checking out the progress 942 out of the 4000 that i need in a single entry i'm at 9 out of 30 hits that i need in a single entry 2 out of the 20 strikeouts just in total 4 out of the 20 extra base hits one stolen base and 500 parallel xp seems like a lot for position players for pitchers i don't think it's that bad i'm just a bit surprised and I guess it's been like this all year that the pitchers and the position players need the exact same amount. But Britain's up to 288, Mantle's up to 98, Cabrian Hayes up to 116. And then I guess I'm making progress on the weekly wonders a little bit too. I wish we could have done something with Julio, but I will definitely take doing something with the program players if it means not doing anything with him. Drop a like, subscribe for daily uploads. I'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Peace out.